as we are our in-house meteorologists. So, yes. so I'm hearing in parts of the country, maybe Cape Town, a little bit of cloud cover. Just, just tell us where the best vantage points are this evening. Well, the best are in Gauteng, Limpopo, Northwest, going to Mpumalanga, and um, the interior of KwaZulu-Natal, Free State as well, the Northern Cape. Mm. But for Western Cape and Eastern Cape, remember we had a cold front that brought us like lots of showers in the early hours. And now we're just expecting isolated just along the coastal regions of Western Cape going to Eastern Cape. And that may just cover it for some time, but we're not expecting overcast uh, conditions for the whole night. So there will be some openings so they can also be able to see in the eastern. You just need to wait for it. Okay, so it sounds like nobody at least will miss the longest lunar eclipse no, in, no, no, in no. the next no, 100 years. You just need to be patient with it, <laughs> mostly in the eastern Cape. But yeah. But just tell us more details of what to expect, the, the timeline. Okay, I'm um, starting from quarter past seven. Uh, that's when it will start. There is a first shadow and the second shadow. The first shadow, it is called the penumbria. So that will start at quarter past seven. But going to 20 past seven, that's when the moon will be in the umbria, meaning that the uh, Earth will be covering the moon and it will be starting but going to 20 past 9 that's when it will be full cover the whole moon will be turning red and then that's when we'll see it until uh, 10 o'clock going to 20 past 10 then f all the way until 12 o'clock it will be starting to move away from the umbria going into the penumbria and then it will be over so, maybe. so for about two hours there in the middle you'll have a full blood moon yes the whole two hours. So and, and anyone anywhere in South Africa can anyone look up and anywhere see that. in South Africa, anyone anywhere in Africa and most parts of Europe as well. It's only the USA and Canada mm. that they won't see anything. And, and describe a little bit more. So as it moves into that full eclipse, or as it gets deeper and deeper into the shadow, how how will the look and and feel of the moon change? Well, the moon will start to move into the shadow so now into the first uh, the penumbria or the first shadow it will still be looking gray and looking shadow, yeah the yeah. outer shadow now when it moves into the inner shadow that's when it will start turning red and that is not because uh, it is its own color because the moon doesn't reflect uh, or doesn't have light of its own it reflects the light from the sun mm. so it will just turn reddish orange as it is it sits into the umbria or the inner uh, shadow all right, thank you uh, very much. As we will be chatting to him a little bit later.